Hey everyone, Ali Monster here, and welcome to Marie's Room. Um, I've seen this do in the rounds on other channels, and I decided I wanted to see what it was. Um, <laughs> I don't really have much more to say than that. Given everything I kind of know about this room, which is you are a friend of Marie who is going through her room after 20 years, I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to start crying. Let me make sure that all the settings are good to go. Okay. Let's do this. I didn't want to come back. Why would I? After all that's happened... Even in here. So, where is the journal? Oh, geez. No entry unless you are a tourist from the future. Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. Weather forecast. What, more than a hundred again today? Glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. <laughs> no, that's her parents' room. Local wine guide. California crisp white wines. Mm. I'll need a crate of those when I get out of here. Uh oh. Oh my god, the hair. What was I thinking? I know that feeling. Science fair, second place. Look, Mr. Torres. I'm happy he finally got remarried. A honeymoon in the Bahamas. Wish I was there with them. Uh-oh. That doesn't bode well. Oh, what? Is it supposed to do that? I'm going to assume this is like futuristic. <sighs> Bumblebee. Anything else to interact with? Sure there will be soon. Postcard. Of course I knew it was her. Who else? There was only one thing to do. Get to Marie. <laughs> Kelsey Jackson. Marie's journal. Hi, Kelsey. Hi, Kelsey. Yeah. Oh. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You are my friend, and I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you, and I stood up to him because of you. But you, I don't know. Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be alright. Marie. Except she wouldn't be. She would not be alright. Oh, no. I have a dream. She once asked me, Don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, I don't. I don't dream I plan what I didn't tell her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans uh oh oh hamburger phone that's Trevor's phone number he called her I knew he blamed her for everything though she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres oh. I need to find the key five figure number 
She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. I couldn't afford a car, and Marie didn't want one, so we rode our bikes everywhere. I thought I looked silly, and with those damn sparkly shoes, I probably did. Where are your helmets, yeah. kids? I was losing my glamour status at school right there. <laughs> that was something my dad always taught me. Always wear your helmet. Food rescue. Yeah, it was a good place to be. Until Marie showed up. I know she didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes. Worse than being hungry. Green eatery. The green eatery. Green as in with fungus. Yes, I am never eating Ayurvedic lasagna ever again. <laughs> but some people must have liked Mr. Jones's cooking because he was out every night cooking his green stuff. Hmm. Aww. I'm not a shadow person. Yeah. It took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> he had money. You see? He bought me things. I was gonna wear these to the prom. Fancy, right? At the time, I didn't know where the money came from. Uh-oh. She asked me why I was so angry all the time, and... I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards I'd been dealt, any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie, my friend Marie, she got me a new deck and suggested I deal again. Huh. Food rescue. There's no such thing as food waste. And don't I know it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever. And the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. Huh. Okay, so Kelsey definitely didn't have money and it sounds like... Marie did. Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. Hmm. I want to do that. I want to build something. Mr. Torres and Marie were robbed in their own house. Not long after we met at Food Rescue. He was stabbed. Almost died. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. She was in the hospital for a while. Stitches, concussion. She still had headaches, she said. Oh my god. Holy crap. Smoking jar. She oh no. hated my cigarettes. Every time I felt like going out and buying a pack... She made me put the money in that money jar. One day, that money would pay for our gas to drive to college. We only needed money for the one way. I ended up using it to get to Vancouver. Oh. I didn't like that she kept the stone. Why did she have to be reminded? I told her I was sorry, but she said it was for me. To remind me. Of what? Did you like throw it at her? Oh god. Have you seen this man? <laughs> yeah. I've seen him. Sheet of paper. That's Marie's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy for her pizza and movie party. <laughs> All right, I might have been a little jealous. Only a little? Whiteboard.
bored. Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. But I got over it and chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. <laughs> Think like a proton and stay positive. Huh. Really into science, that one. Oh, jeez. Sorry. I'm hiccuping. She wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes and stuff. I just wanted to do something simple. Calculate shit. <laughs> boring, is what she said. Her. The weird kid talked boring. So yeah, we settled on antimatter. Because who wants to be boring? <laughs> Hello. Mr. Torres. Thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. Oh. God, that's terrible. Ripped shirt. Trevor. What an asshole. After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben. I think it was. Oh, jeez. Yeah, a lot of shit for it later. Oh! Okay, so I need... Library? Oop! <laughs> She must have written it down here somewhere. I am not a shadow. No, she must not have written it down shadow here somewhere. Person? Ugh. 33% charged. Taurus Wi Fi. July 7th, 2018. Oh, Why does someone need to get hurt before we step up and act, for Christ's sake? If they had, none of this shit would have happened, and no one would have died. I'm sorry, what? Grieves me to hear that this is how you feel, but I'm afraid there's not much I can do at this stage. I understand you are alarmed and feel unsafe, but Trevor has not broken any school rules, nor has he hurt anyone. I would like to invite you and Trevor to my office to see if we can start up a conversation between you two. Oh no. Why didn't you tell me, Marie? No wonder you were so frightened. We never should have gone to the Orange Grove. That's horrific. <laughs> One day, I just had to know. What's up with all the cats? She said she admired them. That they were who they were without any pretense. That... They had no fear of confrontation. She wanted to be more like them. Aww. When Bumblebee went missing, Marie cried for days. She thought I couldn't hear her at night. I could never prove it, but I'm sure it was Trevor. The jerk? Oh. Oh, God, I know what that's like. been missing for this is oh jeez Marie what were you thinking you know that's illegal oh god she was either thinking of ending herself or ending him not sure which PMA apparently Jack missed La -la that on his land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Glad Trevor snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. 
She never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. Mm. I've been in Marie's position. I had a friend that I... <laughs> I had a friend that uh, didn't want me to mention to everyone that she had been over to my house. When Lorraine, was... Marie's mom, died when she was five. My mother, she might as well have been dead. She looked more dead than alive, anyhow. Passed out on the couch, empty bottles of gin on the floor. I had a friend. <laughs> I was a very sad kid ben, back in elementary school. Sometimes it got so hot, this thing wasn't doing it anymore. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones's swimming pool. That night, I guess he must have seen us. Ooh, that's creepy. I wore those a lot. Not to protect my eyes, but to hide them. I didn't want anyone to know. see all this stuff up here. Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. That's creepy. I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. peeled an orange so juicy the <laughs> drops erupted from underneath the skin like fireworks in the setting sun no but i've had really the giant Mr. strawberries Jones's garden had them i used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit before <laughs> i met trevor this trevor guy sounds like a jerk disgusting but cheap i got used to them after i didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore the vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served by Marie. Huh. That's Trevor's phone number. I need to find the key. A five-figure number. Oh, boy. I didn't see anything, though. I'm not a shadow person. Yeah. It's a <sighs> I'm trying to think of everything that gave me... numbers. Marie always dreamed about going to Europe. I don't think she ever went. By the sounds of it, it sounds like she won't get the chance. Is there something in the journal? Last hope. High school kid saves classmates from hunger. After that school article, people kept asking me why I did it, as if I were some kind of hero. So stupid, and I keep telling them the same story. Aren't they sick of it yet? Maybe I should publish a book. My life story so they can stop bugging me. Crazy people. Here, for one last time. Last fall, I s caught a kid stealing someone's lunch from a backpack. As he stuffed the sandwich in, our mouth, in his mouth, our eyes locked. He panicked, dropped the food, and ran. I never realized some of my classmates were actually hungry, so I joined Food Rescue to help. There. The end. Everyone satisfied? Oh, 
We had a party today, celebrating three years of food rescue. Everyone was there. All those happy, familiar faces. Loved it. Kelsey came in. I never took her for one of the hungry. I don't think she knows my name, but everyone knows hers. She's gorgeous. It surprised me, is all. I could see the shame in her eyes when she had to accept the bag of groceries from me. Still, I couldn't take my eyes off of her. If this world allows someone like Kelsey Jackson to be hungry, it must be everywhere. So I'm going to fight it with everything I've got. November 21st, 2017. Oh my god, they put me on Kelsey's team. My heart races whenever I stop to think about it. <sighs> Sorry, let me adjust my... Don't think she's all too pleased, though. I wonder whether she remembers me from the feud food rescue. God, I hope not. I feel so connected to her. Isn't that weird? I'd love for us to be friends. She's just amazing. Can't wait to start working on our science project. Did you get that? Our project. I feel like we're going to explode with excitement. December 4th, 2017. I screwed up, but I was worried. I'm still worried. What else could I do? Kelsey hasn't been to the food rescue in a while, and I wanted to make sure she wasn't hungry or something. So I offered her my sandwich. Why did I do that? Now we'll never be friends. Good one, Marie. Really, really well done. She looked at me like I was crazy and walked out. Now we're behind on the project, too. I hope we can make the deadline. Just stop. Why do you keep writing this shit? I know there isn't much news in Orange Grove, but it's been ages. Not literally, but you know, they're never gonna find them. I wish everyone would just stop. Leave us alone so I can forget the, that whole god-awful night. Some think my dad is a hero for trying to stop him. Truth is, we never saw them coming. When that guy jumped and stabbed my dad, something snapped and I would have punched him, scratched his eyes out. I swear. I think I could have killed him. But the other one got me before I knew there were two. I never saw their faces. Neither did my dad. So they never caught them. I am not fearless. Oh, jeez. We're all just matter. That's what Kelsey keeps saying, and she's right. But matter is also life, and life is something we need to take care of. <sighs> she likes to be out on a limb. She says that... She says that she's got nothing to lose. Bam! She doesn't even realize what she's saying. Or maybe I'm too sensitive. Guess that'll show me. To believe that we were friends. I guess I'm a shadow of a person. I'm a shadow person after all. I think she's going to break her neck, though. By the way, see if I care. Nothing was different. I love cats, because they're not afraid to be difficult. Happy birthday, Mom. Fuck! I'm so stupid! I finally got to see La La Land. They showed it on classic nights at the theater. I went with Ben. Loved it. Kelsey was there, too. I was happy to see her. I actually friggin' hugged her. And she pushed me away. Asked what I thought I was doing, and that Trevor asshole was enjoying the show. Their stupid cheerleader friends. I think I'm missing something here. We're going to be friends. Okay, I calmed down a bit. That Lala... Lala night, she was with Trevor. And he is such a... She's different when she's around him. Not that that makes it all right. But she can't, did come straight over to tell me she was sorry. She knows she was wrong. Broke my window with that damn rock. She said if I answered the call of the pebbles, she wouldn't have had to throw the rock. She's been here ever since. Doesn't have anywhere else to go, really. Except for Trevor. Glad she'd rather sleep here. Right now, as I write, as I write this, she's on the bed going over some notes for class. I like having her here. Dad's okay with it. Oh. So the rock is... Okay, so it was thrown at the window, not her. I guess that's okay. Oh, those sparkly shoes. She wears them all the time. Last night, the heels dug into my calf. That frickin' hurt. Have you seen those heels? So I yanked them off her feet. I told her. Not in, not in the bed. She was amused. I can't think why. To be honest, I wish I was a size 9, because they look absolutely gorgeous. 
On Kelsey's feet, at least. When I tried them on, I looked like a little girl trying on mommy's shoes. You may have noticed, sweet journal, that there's less and less F words on these pages. I'm so freaking proud. Ha! Huh. Only when I go berserk. Like when Kelsey threw that rock through my window. Then it's hard to keep it up. Did you know that an as a little girl, I used to curse abundantly? Trying to extend my <laughs> vocabulary here. Dad thought it indicated intelligence. And I guess it looked cute up to a certain age. But he said mom hated it. So every time I used the F word, he made me put a piece of candy in a swear jar. Can't tell you how much that hurt every time, because I'd never see it again. I think he secretly ate it. He must have rejoiced. Yep, vocabulary extension again. Every time I swore like a madman. Mad woman. Must have. <laughs> the effin' swear jar. Uh. I didn't swear a lot when I was a kid, but I definitely got in trouble for swearing at school. It was pretty bad. She called me her friend today. I am not a shadow person anymore. She is my friend. Kelsey is angry with the world, like all the time. It's kind of annoying, but I get it. We all have different stories to tell. So as a friend, I did the only decent thing. I told her she could do anything else she wanted. She just had to make it happen. Not wait for it. I told her to deal again. Not drugs. The cards. She dealt... Oh my god. Now all is harmed. Kelsey broke up with Trevor. Finally. She can do so much better than that total loser. He assaulted her in the school hallway. Of course no one saw it happen, but he literally told... Tore the clothes from her body. I promise not to swear, so there you go. But she's done with him now. Things can only get better. I think he's crazy. He keeps calling me these at the most impossible hours, just trying to yell at me. Calling me names, threatening me as if I don't... If I don't let Ke Kelsey go, he'll do this or that. As if I have her tied up in here. Now I unplug the phone when I go to sleep. Oh no. Today was a good day. Only five emails from Trevor. Only five. I hope he's finally getting it. She's not coming back. He really holds me responsible for it. I can handle that if it keeps him away from her. Jeez. Oh no. When I saw him in the hallway this morning, he slid his finger across his throat again. If he wasn't such a scary-ass clown, I'd laugh. But he does scare me. I don't tell Kelsey these things. She shouldn't worry. These are good times that make me forget. All my troubles seem far away. Wait a minute, is that a song? Kelsey took me night swimming in Mr. Jones's pool. I was scared this the first time. But, uh, two beers and freshly picked oranges. Chill. Best nights ever. It took me forever to convince Kelsey to ride a bike, because it- it ain't cool. Our rides are the best part of the day now, and on this day we rode them through Mr. Jones's orange grove, in broad daylight. We came home with a basket full of the juiciest golden oranges. I don't even think about getting caught. not listening. I tried every authority at school. I tried the cops, but they just patted my shoulder. shoulder. Poor little girl, still traumatized. Bump on the head didn't do her any good. Yes, I'm swearing now. Full, can full jar of candy. What should I do? I wish I could tell Kelsey, but she'd go insane and get herself hurt. Or worse, go back to him. Trevor is dangerous. <sighs> I know it's him, and there's nothing I can do. They'll never believe me. I don't think I'll ever see Bumblebee again. Nothing was the same. I can't sit and watch. I have to be fearless. I found the site where you can buy guns off of anyone. Not that I mean to shoot anyone, it's just... I don't know what to do for anymore. It's for protection, you know? Isn't that what they say? Anyway, there's this guy that wants to sell me a, this totally new 9mm. I'm meeting him out of town somewhere. A little shady, I admit. But with Trevor, Trevor looking, lurking around, I'll take my chances. There's been another home invasion just two blocks from here. They killed the woman this time, and the police think it's Trevor. Suppose it was him in our house? 
can't wrap my head around it. it's too big, but Kelsey says that isn't true. That Trevor is a bastard, but would never commit such violent acts. I'm looking at the torn shirt, I think she might be in denial there. I did it. I hope I'm not going to regret this. Which means the last thing. It's just that. And I don't... I loved skinny dipping. But Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Really, oh. <laughs> I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool. After dark, no one would ever come close to the freak. And he wasn't there, just to be clear. But someone else was. Oh, that's creepy. Pretty sure that's the part that I was missing. Guess not. We needed this. Beer, water, and oranges. Like so many nights before Trevor. No, I am not going to let him spoil my night at the pool with Kelsey. He who shall not be named, shall not be named. Not today. <sighs> okay. Take out my... Every Tuesday, the food trucks would roll in. Me and Marie never missed Jorge's tamales. <laughs> when I was a kid, Jorge would put some aside. Just in case my mom was too drunk to feed me again. Oh, I'm missing something and I don't know what. Wake me up when I'm famous. God, I'm terrible at this. I can't find it. Oh, it's Pusheen! Yo, it's time to party! Oh, I love P Pusheen. They're like the primary form of communication that my friend and I have. <sighs> Ruby, with you. Hated that thing. <laughs> well, alright then. What a... Mr. Torres loved that beer. After the robbery, he only had a couple left. Apparently, they were hard to come by. Still, we decided to try a bottle once. Marie loved that label. She drew it in her journal. I remember that. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Must. I don't know where she wrote it down, though. I thought I was so lucky. An adoring <laughs> boyfriend, free burgers from the kitchen he worked in, sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take care of me, and we'd get out just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where the money came from. Oh, no. Trying to ignore the fact that all of Kelsey's cute stuff is paid for with Trevor's money. He is such a creep. I don't get what she sees in him. She says I'm jealous. <laughs> As if. The thing is, she thinks she needs him to get away from all of this, but she doesn't. She got away from her mom all on her own. Kelsey's the co smartest, coolest, sweetest person you can imagine. She doesn't need anyone to get her out. She can do it all on her own. Too bad she doesn't believe that for herself yet. Broken window. She was my friend, and I had to tell her. So I came back here, throwing stones at the window, but she didn't react, so I threw a bigger stone, and it shattered the glass. She kept the stone as a souvenir to remind her not to trust me ever again. <laughs> I'm missing one thing, and I don't know where it is. I might need to look this up, because I... Legitimately don't know. Did I just completely s miss it? I had to look it up because I wasn't sure what I was doing. Um, it's the red numbers. So three, 
four, nine, five, one. Three, four, five, nine, one. What is Three, the code, Murray? Wait. Four, five, the journal. It must be in the journal. Nine, one. Wrong combination. Crap. Nine, I really five, want to know one. what's in that case. Yay! Good work, Kelsey. Oh my god. Oh no. The past, like the future, is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Stephen Hawkins said that. I wish it were true. But there was nothing I could do about the past. It was definite as hell. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time. And she was ruining it. So I said some things I shouldn't have. She just stood there, staring at the window. I was so annoyed. Oh, and that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor, right there in the room, he'd just come in through the open window. How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. But he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. It had been Trevor by the pool, and he'd followed us home. He said to Marie, I told you not to mess with me, but still, I didn't get it. No. It wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything, and he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. My backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Marie went for it, but Trevor was faster. He kicked her in the head. I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. I stopped, because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock, realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. Then Trevor looked at me, added with a smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I tried to explain, apologized, but she wasn't listening. She kept asking me if I'd been there with Trevor in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, that I'd enjoyed it. I screamed in frustration, no, that's not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that, hurt her deliberately. God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, we robbed the house, and we got caught by Mr. Torres, but I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. I panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't listening. I was losing it, and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it. She screamed, told us to stop, pointed that nine millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her. She screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and... 
What do you think you remember is not necessarily what really happened or how others remember it. But Trevor fell back on the carpet, dead. That we all remember. Oh, God. I'll be down in a minute. Anne Marie is getting a little worked up here. She threatened to smoke a cigar in your car. Don't let her. Don't let her smoke. I love that car. She knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking like forever. I'll be down in a minute. Bring the journal. I regret food rescue. I regret this science project. I regret all of it. My father could have died because of me and my inability to pick real friends. Kelsey never was who she said she was. I never really knew her, it turned out. It's all been bullshit. I am so stupid. I should have realized it that la-la night and walked away for good. Because someone died right in this room and made him die. I pulled a trigger. Made a bullet pierce his head, made his blood soak the carpet, drip through the cracks in the floor where it will remain forever. To bear witness to what I am capable of. I can't stay here. Am I the same me? I don't know anymore. I have to fix this. Fix me. Away from her. I have to focus on the positives of my life. And stop questioning myself. Why did she do it? Why did I do it? Did I deserve this? Am I an evil person? A killer? I shot him in the head for Christ's sake. I could have gone for his leg. Dad calls them intrusive thoughts. They, they say there's truth. I'm stronger than I look. I can do this. I will go up north to Uncle George, as Dad suggested. Nice and cool up there. I'll be able to think and finish high school. I'm leaving this journal here because I need a clean slate and fresh pages. Sorry. Dear diary, I might send to you someday. Yeah. When this is all long over, I've dealt with being a murderer. Hi, Kelsey. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you were reading my, you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how, because I don't understand any of it. You were my friend, and I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you. I stood up to him because of you. But you... I don't know. Right now I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be alright. Murray. Oh my gosh, that was amazing, to be perfectly honest. <sighs> I am very close to tears right now, my apologies. Oh my god. I'll have to download the soundtrack, this is kind of amazing. Hmm. That was very well done. Aw, I liked that a lot. <sighs> but for now, I'm gonna call it here, so thank you all for joining me. This is Ani Monster signing off. Have a good night.